Hello everyone out in YouTube world, internet land. This is Kirsten Hall again with Fox Point Publishing. And today we are with Alicia Sanchez. She is our newest author and she has a book coming out in the spring of 2021. And um, she's been a wonderful friend of mine and we're gonna get to know her and you will see why she is such a firecracker of fun. And um, yeah, so. We're gonna get going. She sent me her five or six questions for our scripted reality show that you know we're doing over here. <laughs> and, um, cause it's all reality TV. Anyway, Hello. and uh, so we're gonna get going. First of all, Alicia, do you wanna say hi to everyone in YouTube world? Hi everyone in YouTube world. <laughs> all right, uh, question number one, where are you from? Wow, that's a loaded question. Well, I am from originally the Dominican Republic. My parents are from, so I am uh, Dominican. And if, for those of you who do not know where Dominican Republic is, it is an island that shares with Haiti. So we are an island right not maybe not 30 minutes away from Puerto Rico. Beautiful island. Check it out. Google it. And uh, I live in of my upbringing and then after that i've moved all over the world and now i'm back in florida <laughs> okay. and and quickly you cut out you live you lived in where after beautiful island uh i lived up i grew up in florida and then i've lived all over the world i've lived in trinidad i've lived in spain i've lived in new york connecticut los angeles i've lived in georgia i've lived almost everywhere <laughs> so yeah well, and, and I know when we first met, um, you were going to, you know, live in Minnesota. And I'm like, yes. Mm. And, we, and I lived in Minnesota. And yes. how did I forget that? Oh, my God. You blocked it out. <laughs> that cold made me block <laughs> it, it, it brain freeze. And, and I remember you telling me that you were going to do this. And I'm like, you have. Um, have you ever lived in Minnesota? I mean, there's like oh my snow, God. you know, like nine months of the year and you're like, oh, I've lived in Boston. I'm good. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's not it. That's no. not it. <laughs> mm -mm. For everyone thinking that, oh, Minnesota, Minnesota is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Oh my God, Minnesota is gorgeous. But in the winter, let's just say you're in quarantine forever mm -hmm. <laughs> for quarantine for in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, we're, yeah. We're, we're kind of used to this whole quarantine thing because, you know, you just keep it going. Pretend yeah. there's a blizzard going on out there and there you go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, not, not much different. All right. Uh, what is the story behind your latest book? Oh, wow. So my latest book, I think it's going to, it's like my new baby in a way. Um, I actually come from a fashion background and I did fashion and business. I did fashion right out of college. I did costume design in high school. So fashion is like my, it, it was my baby all my life. And I switched over to writing because of course we have all these epiphanies in our lives and we're like, why not? I got to tell my story. But my latest book is going back to my love of fashion with a twist of giving that away. So to helping and it's, and it's called Crafts Create Change because Sewing and crafting is something that is, is so dear to my heart because when someone makes me something or I make something for someone, you kind of just, someone took their time. And for me, time is the most, it's, it's the most valuable currency ever. And so this book is going to be like impactful with just projects that are, can, can change, help change situations in people's lives. And I'll just give you guys a little teaser you know a lot of people don't know but i mean i i always talk about my hot flashes and you know <laughs> going through menopause but it's a real thing it is a real thing and it's not just older women that go through it and when you get hot flashes people think oh yeah you're just having your personal summers but you get moody you get angry your whole demeanor your mind starts to race especially if you had a hysterectomy for all my hyster sisters out there um, at a younger age and you're just dealing with this stuff like hot flash packs they're life for us. And so maybe someone can't afford that. Maybe there's, you know, hospitals that we can give it to them in their transition. And these are things that I know my crafters community and sewing community is so amazing. And I, and even if you're not a crafter or a sewing community, but um, basically crafting to create these change, to give these things to different peoples that can help their lives. And yeah, I can't give too much away, but I, I'm just so excited because I get to go back into my roots of fashion and just, 
crafting and connecting with with your hands. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, with the, I'm not sure if I've had menopause or not. Maybe I have. I'm just always moody and cranky all the time, and you know we just go with it. So anyway. You could blame it on the hot flashes. That's what I blame on. Like, oh, it's the hot flash. It's the menopause. <laughs> I, I blame it on the fact when Minnesota gets to 80 degrees, you know, it's, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's silly. I'm kidding. I know. I know. <laughs> and, and me being grumpy? Oh, whatever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Um, all right. Who is your ideal reader? Families, moms, dads, uh, churches, uh, schools, schools, teachers, homeschoolers, uh, crafters and sewers, people who like to dive in with different arts, um, people who love to have social impact and they want to change the world by doing one little thing that they can do every single day. That you, you are my community. You are someone who wants to say, hey, I've never sewn in my life or I've never done a craft, but I my kids love crafting. They like, I, I can pick up some scissors and some glue. Let's do it. And um, it's, it ranges. All the projects range. So you can be a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, and there's something for you. But every craft makes you think. When you're thinking, when you're doing it, you're like, wow, I didn't know that these people really needed this. Wow, this can really make a difference. And you just, you start to see life in a different perspective. So if you want to do something positive and, and add your magic to this world, this book is for you. But I really encourage parents and moms and aunties and uncles and communities that with children, because children, they learn um, through you. And mm -hmm. it's these little things like crafting that they can say, wow, I, they can talk about it later to their friends. I made this for my, you know, for this person. Oh, really? Why? Oh, because, you know, da, 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 da. And, and it'll make them feel good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And they learn through your actions. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what you say, well, I mean, they can learn that too, but yeah, they, <laughs> at, yeah, they, look, they pick up on everything. Sure but um, actions, if they see mm -hmm. you doing something positive, they're going to follow suit. So, oh, yeah. 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 It's so true because, I mean, growing up, my parents were always donating clothes or donating things. And I didn't even know what that was. I didn't know what volu the word volunteer was. I mean, I knew what it was, but as you grow older, you're like, oh, I've been doing that since I was a kid. My mom was like, you're not wearing those shoes. Let's give them away. <laughs> and mm -hmm. it's like, you know, it, it becomes something. And I want to teach that to my daughter, but also my niece, she's here with us and she's asking certain things. And I'm like, well, if we need to finish the foods that we eat, we need to, I need to show her that everything is like a ripple effect and how social impact is so important, you know, and, and waste and, um, you know, kids, they eat two little things and they just like, I don't want it anymore. And they're like, ha ha ha. You, <laughs> you can't, you can't, hello. We have to think about, and it makes you think, it makes her think about other things too, you know, yep. not just because other people don't have it, but like, where's my gratitude in that? And, I, and it's true what you said, Kirsten, if, if your parents see it, they're doing something, their kids see them doing something, it's, it makes them say, wow, I want to do it more because the kids are, our kids look up to us, mm -hmm. I would hope. <laughs> <laughs> in, until they get taller than you, they yeah, look yeah. down on you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'm not, I'm a couple uh, of years. <laughs> they, they pat you on the head and tell you you're cute. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, your sons, your sons do that for sure, probably. Yeah, exactly. Hi, Mom. Cute. <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah. Okay, the next question I have is, do you have a blog or a website readers can visit for updates, events, and special offers? Absolutely. So, dear God, are we there yet? Dot com. You can go on there and you can click on where it says volunteer today, and then it will take you to our, another portal where you can kind of, I don't want to say portal. That sounds so like third dimensional. <laughs> you know, you know, English is my second language. I have to mm -hmm. say this all the time because I literally think in English and then, I mean, I think it's Spanish and then I speak in English and sometimes it doesn't come out the best. So thank God I have a publishing company now. <laughs> whoop, whoop, because, <laughs> because this book needs to, you can't put this in here and here because it's a craft book. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, dear God, are we there yet? Dot com. And um, yes, we're going to have all kinds of things on there, but the volunteer aspect is really huge. Um, so please go ahead and, and, and it's virtual. I mean, we're not going nowhere. So might as well right now until things open up safely um, that you can still give your time. And until the book comes out, 
um, you can still do some minor crafts in there that we have for other organizations. Okay. And then actually you had mentioned volunteering and all that. So how can people volunteer? Tell us more about the volunteering yeah. end. So when you go onto the volunteer uh, the site, there's going to be tons of different opportunities that you can volunteer. And it'll say, um, become a pen pal with an, an elder, you know, someone from uh, an elder person, an elderly person, I don't know what to say, I can't even talk today, uh, an elderly person that's in a home. And it's so awesome because you could just write a letter to them and say, hey, how are you doing? This is what I like. This is what, and just write to them and it will make them smile and you sign up and you create an account um <clears throat> our platform is designed so that is it is the security so we have to approve everybody who comes in we don't want to make you know we don't we want to make sure that you're not like some crazy person mm -hmm. um connecting with different people uh, mm -hmm. we have a san diego one for helping um feed the homeless that you can do there's certain things that you can do from home or if you're local you could possibly like pick up ice or something um there's there's a lot of different things for people and it's not just the US, it's international as well. <clears throat> and we're trying to bring some more international opportunities um, regardless of uh, the ver you know, COVID. The thing is that a lot of our international opportunities, they might not have internet or a computer or so. Those are the things that we're trying to, we're kind of struggling with. So we're just trying to focus on what we can. So create an account and volunteer and it doesn't cost you anything. It's just your time, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, yeah. your kids, um, yeah, that's that's about it. Okay, well, um, when I'm putting this on YouTube, I'll put all those links in the okay. comments section so people can get on there. Okay. And you know, two things. I remember uh, back when I was young, <clears throat> like Girl Scouts or something, we would write uh, letters or cards to the people in the elders' homes, and they loved oh. it. Mm -hmm. And secondly, um my kids have done some volunteering in elders homes you know like calling oh. bingo oh no nice. bingo numbers and that kind of stuff i love and, that and i know that those people that are there enjoy mm. any type of outside stimulation whether it's reading a, a letter or they or do. whatever i mean yeah so they um, do. you they know do. The best way of looking at it is if you think you're going stir crazy with quarantine, try being in an elder's home where sometimes, sadly, a lot of people, your family, don't visit you. Yeah. And, and that's, there you go. I, I, I love that you said that. It's just yeah. a little, any kind of simulation that's from outside. You're right. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Um, okay. Next, what inspires you to get out of bed each day? My daughter, for I sure. Was, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> besides your daughter. <laughs> besides my daughter would be my promise to God in the universe that I would make this second lifetime, I always say it, the best possible I can. Um, so definitely priorities kind of change up when you're a mom. She's first, but I also, she's first, but I also come first in the sense that I have to be well mentally, physically, emotionally. So I would say that rem remembering that promise that I made to God, where when I used to say, you know, when I, well, I still pray, dear God, but when I used to say, I promise, oh my God, if you let me live, I will make it, you know, and, and it's in those times when you're, when you're asking for something and really you need to be asking it for yourself. So that's, that's mm -hmm. my thing is just you know, you know, God forbid I, I will not be on this earth tomorrow or whatever day that it's my time to go. I want to feel good knowing that I lived my, live the life that I want to live and to live my true self, you know, silly, crazy, loud, whatever it is, my personality. Um, yeah, I, that's, that's the most important. So that's what helped. That's what helps me get up. Oh plus yeah. I, yeah. Plus coffee and whatever, some good food. <laughs> And all that good fun stuff. No, you know, and it's true. You can't take care of anyone else until you take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Oh, last question. What do you read for pleasure? Oh, I like, okay. I like all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm into, I love personal development. I think, I think we've all, we have our, all our ups and downs when it comes to personal development, like books per se, not within ourselves, but books, because 
you're trying to go in your aunt looking for an answer but <clears throat> i'm a little corny so i like like love stories and like rom-com stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> i love vintage like um you know back in the days love stories like the 1920s and you know oh when she's young she goes off and you know i like stuff like that um and i might i, I also like history too um, I love to read a, lo a lot about like my culture and different Latin American countries or just countries period. But that has a kind of a story that has love in there or something around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, I love Juno Diaz. Um, he's an author. I love the, his stuff because he, he's always, you know, bringing culture into it. And I, I, I just, yeah, I like a mixture of stuff, I would say. I'm really trying to get into like the extraterrestrial kind of okay. stuff. Like, I try, I pick it up and, I, and I, I'm like, okay, I have to get into it. I have to get into it. And I haven't found the one that I'm like really, really into, but I like like the whole Stranger Things kind of theme okay. kind of yeah. stuff. So, yeah. um, Hands Meets Tail was a little crazy. I mean, like I had to stop for a while because I was getting a little nervous. I'm like, oh my God, is this happening? Is the government going to do this? Are we all going to be wearing crepes? So uh -huh. I had to step away from that book. Uh -huh. <laughs> but Virginia Woolf, I think that's, yeah, Virginia Woolf. Um, mm -hmm. I like her. I mean, I like a combination of a little bit of everything. Um, okay. But yeah. Oh, Patsy, that's a great book. If anybody has, it's funny. It's like um, a Jamaican author and it is just hilarious. Like even if you don't understand some things in there, you'll, you'll just be dying of laughter because the way um, she, you know, puts the, um, the characters in there. It's so vibrant and yeah. So yeah, I, I probably told you, but I read a little <laughs> bit of everything. <laughs> well, no, that sounds wonderful. Um, do you ever, I mean, I know that you two read to your daughter a yes. lot and oh, she's got yes. books up the wazoo. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh my God. I have, I have, we have so many books. Look at this, <laughs> this little girl. And when I tell you she's spoiled, uh -huh. <clears throat> there you she go. She loves this book, by the way. We had to actually take this book away from her because um, she was uh, like wanting. She likes it so much. When she likes a book, she starts to eat it. Like oh, she doesn't okay. want to let go of it. So <laughs> we have to put this on the top shelf. But right now, <laughs> we've been on our ABCs with David okay. Pickles. She loves yeah. this, and my niece actually loves it because with the words girl i don't even know what the words mean i'm like oh let me go to the dictionary i know there's that. a boss <laughs> we go to the dictionary <laughs> exactly and and i know you told me that she was starting to eat david's pretzels too uh, she yeah likes she it. likes yeah. she likes it too <laughs> and then we have a lot of spanish books for her um because yep. you know we do bilingual i speak to her mm -hmm. mostly in spanish and then lucy speaks to her in english so we mm -hmm. try to really um give her that bilingual feel so if i say if we yeah. read in english we'll just translate it right there in, in spanish yeah. well it's it's you're doing her a big favor big favor for having bilingual and hopefully she'll do that into trilingual or multilingual i mean oh, it's well. yeah it's a huge yeah. favor um but do you ever read any of your books out loud to her um, I actually haven't read um, Dear God, Are We There Yet? The, my other book, no, I have not read that. Or, or, like, or like Patsy with all the different colorful, you know? You know, I do I do, do voices. I know yeah. you know this. This is like a little thing that I do. I speak a little Patois. I speak a little British sometimes when I want to. I mean, <laughs> I, I can get into like these little characters. And I think it's the theater in me because, uh -huh. you know, I was in theater, but on the sewing side, so I would always be seeing, you know, all these, these characters. So I do that all the time. Like I'll uh -huh. say, darling, let's get some tea. How are you, darling? And she <laughs> look at me like, what? And I'm like, make a girl, if you get you right now. And she's like, what? She just looks at me like, my mom is crazy. <laughs> Well, and I'll sing like songs and I'll be uh -huh. like, mommy loca, loca means crazy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm your mommy loca. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you are. No. <laughs> no, and actually I would as as a kid, I would much rather have you as a mom <laughs> with it all going on than someone who's like on the other side of the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it yeah. should be fun. So no, yeah. yeah. 
And I think the balance and the balance might be even be- good for her because then she'd be like, oh, I need a break because she's that child. She's she's just like, I need a break. Like, it's not my time right now. But um, but yeah, I'm a big kid. I, I'm, uh-huh. I'm definitely a big kid. <laughs> Did, does she do the, okay, I need a break. Does she, has she picked up your mannerisms? She goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she has a lot, you know, she has a lot of uh-huh. hair. She's like, uh-huh. And, and, <laughs> And I'm like, really, really, <laughs> you're one. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's so smart. But yeah, I mean, I haven't done that one. The craft stuff, yes, um, because I'm always I sew for her a lot. So yeah. and my niece too. So she'll see me cry, and I'm like, come on, I gotta try this on for you. And I see my mother in me because my mm-hmm. mom used to sew a lot for yeah. me, and so she's like, come, I need to put one stitch in, and and I'm yeah. like, oh, again, yeah, and, really? and, and hold your arm up, oh, and let yeah, me I do this, it. and let me do this, and how is this? Fit? Yeah. Um, matter of fact, compliments on, I saw a picture of her and she's got um, a new top on. It was oh, a dress, yeah. yes. but it you was shortened a, it to a, it looks top. wonderful. It looks yeah. wonderful. Cause she grows, you know, kids, they grow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they grow like <laughs> little weeds. Okay. Now with all the talks about books and such, do you happen to have a copy of your dear God? Are we there yet book? Yes. Anywhere right here. Perfect. Okay. Tell us about it. Yeah, so Dear God, Are We There Yet came, it's basically that life is a road trip and <clears throat> there's different stories and chapters in here that kind of talk about that feeling. I'll give you an example when you're, it correlates to like life is a road trip. So if your car breaks down because it's flat tire, you don't just go buy a new car, you fix the tire. And that's just an analogy in our life. When something goes wrong, we're just not like, oh my God, the world is over. We just have to fix what that is. And so I talk about, there's lots of stories in here, different stories, and they're all real um, of situations and how we can reflect. And after every chapter, there's a rear view moment where you can kind of do these exercises or do these afterthoughts to kind of reflect on, on your personal life. Um, and yeah, so this is actually my first book and, and looking back on here, you're like, wow, <clears throat> times change. Like our lives change again. Life is a road trip. Look at, look at, nobody knew 2020 would be like this. So, no. um, and, and, and <laughs> nobody knew. Um, and yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it's a journey. So you can actually get a copy if you'd like you go to my website. Um, there's, uh, there's a link on the top that you can actually get a copy. Yeah. And you wrote that in what, 2017? I actually wrote this, no, before that, okay. because I think 2016, okay. it was, it, it was, uh, published. Okay. Yeah. And this, this was a journey just publishing this book. This is why I'm so happy to be a part of Fox Point, um, publishing because, you know, no man is an island one. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when you're a part of a team that, you can kind of lean on and just be a part of the process. And I, I express and I tell everybody, English is not my first language. And writing a book, you want to, you want to, you, what you have in your mind, you want it to be expressed <laughs> in a certain way, you mm-hmm. know? You, 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 because I know what, I understand myself, but you need to understand what I'm saying. And so it was a lot of learning. And this is actually my eye. Um, okay. My wife's a photographer and this yeah. is my eye. And then there's a, there's a car inside. That, that's your car, isn't it? Uh, n- no, this one's actually not my car. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Um, but the eye is, this is my eye, my big yeah. old possum, beautiful eye. <laughs> and she took that and, um, I just, it, it's because you're, you're looking ahead and you're, and this mm-hmm. is how I actually pray. I, I always say, dear God, um, mm-hmm. because I love Judy Bloom. If you're mm-hmm. a Judy Bloom fan, I love her. I grew up with her. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Judy Bloom. You're my mm-hmm. best friend. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's how I pray. And so I just, uh, this, this book, this, this journey, it just made me realize for the next book. And it's so, this is how like, I know I don't want to make this, this YouTube long, but this is how like the stars align, I would say, because I met you, Kirsten. And, you know, it's just, it was like a little seed that was planted. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wanted to write a book, but I was so put off with after writing this book because of the journey. Again, I was by, I was by myself, essentially, you know, I didn't have a team like that. I didn't, I was so new to that writing world. And 
now I have now, you know, and you've been in my life since and now just blossoming now with the publishing company, I'm just like, this is my time. This is a sign that I can have someone that I trust. I can have a team of people that I can say, Hey, can you just look at this graphic or can you look at this? Because it's your expertise, you know, and it's, and you know what can help get out to my readers. So, so yeah. Well, I'm, (laughs) I'm going to point out two things. Mm -hmm. to everyone in the world Mm -hmm. um in august of 2017 when okay it's just kind of goofy we met at a county fair yeah it was august and it was a concrete floor and five six days of 12 hour days and you know sometimes you just have to get out of your booth so i went out of my booth and i I went down my row and i came back the other row (laughs) And I saw this itty little baby. <laughs> I mean, the boots were like eight feet, but they were sharing with someone. And so this long tunnel of four <laughs> feet wide. And I mean, it was the best looking booth. I mean, four <laughs> feet wide, about eight feet deep. And you were fabulous. <laughs> oh, you were fabulous for this small county fair. Yeah. <laughs> And, and I remember, um, I don't know if you remember uh, what I first, uh, I went in and I was, funny. yeah, well, I was, I was in there looking at all of your spices and stuff. I mean, yeah. it was just an incredibly beautiful booth for being four feet wide, literally four feet wide. I mean, you can't have it, you know, get in there. But, um, and, and I, I saw these two beautiful women sitting, um, they had like, you have this um the sign yeah it was like a like a little porch and it, oh yeah it was beautifully put together i mean and then <laughs> I, of course i'm going i'm looking at my booth going oh my god <laughs> <laughs> not beautifully put together but anyway um but i walked in there and you guys were impeccably dressed and you have this beautiful <laughs> booth and we got to talking and then the question I remember, I don't know if you guys remember asking me this. You said, why is everyone here staring at us? Do yeah. you remember me sa- I you did, saying that? We asked you. And do we- you remember what I said? <laughs> I said, because you brought class to this county fair and no one has seen anyone. I don't know if I used fabulous, but no one has seen. You stood out. I mean, your booth, four feet wide, beautifully put together. You guys were beautifully dressed. I mean, you brought class. Well, like I said, you brought class to that <laughs> county fair building, you know, with leaf gutter clean out and John Deere tractors and everything else. I mean, you were a breath of fresh air in that building. Now, I will point out, too, then, um, ever since then, um, your booth for the entire week was Party Central. Yes, one. <laughs> Pictures on Facebook. <laughs> it was on. Our- and, and all I can say is thank God you guys were there because you made that yes. fair so much more enjoyable. <laughs> oh, yes. And, but you see, it, those little, and we weren't going to do that fair because that was the time, a little backstory, that was the time when my wife and I had our um, spice business. Mm-hmm. And we were also on the road with them, going on the road with our RV. Mm -hmm. that's another story I remember that Uh, yeah (laughs) and so we weren't going to do that one but we said let's do it um because we were in Minnesota and uh, let's try it out and uh, we met you and Uh you you, like we just felt this connection because we felt like we can talk to you like we talked to our sister girl you know like we can be like why are they looking at us like why did we do you know what and you were so you were straight shooter and like that's what we loved about you you know so yeah you are you were just like uh no filter (laughs) well yeah yeah, that that is her point (laughs) we like that though because it was thank you you. (laughs) thank you and um darn it now i was gonna say something else i was gonna tell you well you know i forgot it was the one thing i uh, it was August 2017. Yes. Oh. Well, we're going to have to just do another video when I figure out what in the world I was going to say. But, um, oh, I remember. Okay. See, it's a little, it's, it's that lag time going on. Yeah. 
in May of 2019, mm -hmm. you interviewed me on your podcast for yes. Jelly Beans. And I yes. don't know if you remember what you said to me then. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I do. <did. laughs> you told me that um, with everything I had going on with the books and all that kind of thing, maybe my, my gig in life was to do the publisher gig. Yeah, yeah. And I hadn't done that yet. And so when I got off the phone with you, I called Chelsea and I said, you know, <laughs> I know I've been kicking this around, but Alicia is saying that maybe we should do this. And I'm just saying we should probably do this. So yeah. really Fox Point is Alicia's fault. <laughs> my fault there you go there you go so, the end. there you go they have it there so instigator right there <laughs> and i'm so excited because you okay. we, we have a great team <laughs> well thank you and and so thank you for finally kicking us over the fence because chelsea mm -hmm. and i have thought about it and we're like yeah but you know whatever and but it's it's been fun it's been a heck of a year um and then of course the last six seven months is just wow yeah and yeah. we're having a great time and putting out some great books and meeting a lot of fun people and then of course fortunately i've known you for coming up on three years next yeah. month yeah yeah and uh when this whole covid monkey business is done i am down <sighs> yeah in your neck of the woods <laughs> trust me yeah that was supposed to be on my um my great winter escape tour that i was gonna do this <laughs> winter and but, bring me and it's not gonna happen so we're gonna have to bounce it out by a year but i will be on your doorstep hi i'm here <laughs> remember how you said i could come and visit you and just oh, stay you, with you and everything course, of course <laughs> okay unload the truck <laughs> okay come on bring it in Dude, hold on wait <laughs> I didn't say to bring Minnesota. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I brought my little jar of melted snow for you. Here you go. <laughs> no, I personally hope I'm out of here before it starts snowing, quite frankly. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, oh. all right. So that is everything that everyone ever wanted to know. And yes, I'm going to leave all that fun stuff in there. I mean, yes. I'm going to cut out, you know. Okay. <laughs> I'll cut out the story about the mosquito and the hairspray. <laughs> Never mind. Did you okay. hit record? Oh yeah, we've been recording this oh, whole okay. thing. Yes, okay. of course I did. Because <laughs> I didn't see it, so I was like, I think she forgot I didn't record. Forgot. <laughs> no, okay, so, okay. Um, all right. Anything else you want to say to everyone? No, just just check out, oh, follow on Instagram, Dear Gotta Be There Yet, um, and just stay tuned for my new book, because we're going to be doing some pre- uh, we're going to be doing some pre-sale stuff way beforehand. So you guys can kind of have like a sneak peek and we might have some extra cool, fun stuff that Kirsten's going to help me figure out. <laughs> and I will say that she is really good at Instagram. It's something you, you post like two or three times a day, don't you? I know, I, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit it. I, I do what other people do. I schedule everything. This oh, okay. has no time. Okay. <laughs> this well, mom has no time. So well, yeah, I am actually very uh, <laughs> conscious of what I need to post, but at the same time, I try to um, schedule everything. Okay. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, no. But I mean, <laughs> you, your posts are so well put together and I mean, it's just, that's when They're you impressive time. when you schedule them. <laughs> oh, so I should schedule them is what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> Whereas when when I first started Instagram, I had nothing to take a picture of. And oh. <laughs> um and so I would be like, if you look at my older post, it's a <laughs> picture of my Doritos bag and a picture of my nachos and a picture of, you know. Because I never leave my desk. So what's there to yeah. take a picture of? You know, I know. Here's my no. messy desk number three. You know, so. No, I'm so busy that I, I mean, there's some things that I do post on, on, on like live, but I try to do that scheduled in and try to put time into it because I do want to spend time with baby and everything else that I'm trying to do, especially to yeah. get the book ready and the volunteer community takes mm -hmm. a lot of time. So, um, good time, by the way, mm -hmm. but good time. But it's just that, um, Social media is important, yeah. but I want to be able to take some time to schedule it and give you guys good content. 
Um, so yeah, so you can still follow me even though I schedule. I'm not lying. I keep it real. <laughs> yep. You do. You do an awesome job with it. That is for sure. Anyway. All right. Well, thank you okay. to everyone out in YouTube world, internet land for joining us this afternoon. And now, you know, probably more than you ever wanted to know. <laughs> now, you know, <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, Somewhere along around this screen, it says subscribe. If you want to know more weird facts about us in future <laughs> videos, you can subscribe. That would be fabulous. And um, have a fabulous day in your neighborhood. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>